Hello everybody and welcome to our new tutorial here. My name is Chad Barker. I am going to show you about the two-door apron sink base cabinet. Alright, so today we're going to be looking through what sink works with this cabinet and uh, how to order it the correct size. So getting started here, we have the apron front sink base cabinet and we're going to be using the White Haven K5827. Now to pull up specs on this guy, all you got to do is go and do a Google search. So just put in Kohler K5827 White Haven. Okay. You just search for that, and then typically it's going to be the first one. Now, Kohler has got their own little thing here, which has specs, pictures of various applications, and no, it's, it's going to be different every single time. I do not want to sign up for the mailing list. No thanks. All right, so what you have here is an undermount installation, as you see right there. The sink is under the countertop. Yeah, right there. Okay. And that's what we're going to be doing in this tutorial today, and we're going to find the right cabinet for it. All right, so they have some cool pictures here. Every single one of them is different. Notice that this one has a separate panel that's probably been cut out and done. Our panel is going to be integrated into the cabinet itself, and there's going to be a little bit of a reveal. That's a gap around the sink itself uh, to the doors of the cabinet. Okay, so what we want to do is find the specs. Let's go down here, specification sheet. You'll download it. I've already downloaded it, and now I have a PDF of the Kohler Whitehaven K5827. All right, so it's a minimum 33-inch apron sink base cabinet. Now, a lot of companies recently have been going through uh, this revolution where they think that their apron sink uh, is going to be the same as a farmhouse sink and vice versa. They've kind of, dis they've kind of delineated, delineated the line between the two types of sinks. So you have a farm sink cabinet or a farm sink, which is essentially where the whole thing is just one big bathtub looking thing, and it actually just sits on a deck, so essentially like what you'd have right there. Uh, I've already drawn these lines in for you. Uh, essentially what we do here is we're looking at an apron sink, which it has this right here, which is the apron, notice. And then our cabinet's gonna have to tuck up underneath it and it's gonna rest on the face of our cabinet. The apron's gonna rest on the face. So with our sink cabinet, it's right here, it's the way it's constructed. We can get a better closer look by going here and taking a look at this. Notice that we have two vertical styles on the left and the right, three quarters of an inch wide. And then we also have this big wide rail right here that sits behind the doors. Now you can also see the opening height. That's going to be from the top of the cabinet to the top of the fixed shelf. And then two inches above that is going to be where your horizontal rail stops. So essentially what we need to do is have that apron sink kind of come down here and then rest into the face. And we can have a big wide gap right here. That's completely fine. All right, so let's get started here. Let's build the cabinet. Okay, so what you're going to want to do is find out the opening height. Now, the easiest way to do this is to look at the actual sink. So the width, let's find the width first. Width is going to be 33 inches. We already know that. And the reason we can verify that is this. We have a 33-inch width. We know that there's a left and right side here. It's three-quarters of an inch. So that means our opening. So the distance between these two partitions is going to be 31.5. Now we can verify that right here, 31.5 is big enough to fit this sink cabinet into the opening. So 31.5 is larger than this, so we're going to have a quarter inch gap right there, and another quarter inch gap right here, and then you can kind of shimmy it in there, and actually shim it in there if you wanted to as well. Uh, but most likely that's not going to be needed because the countertop will be uh, silicone down to the top of this uh, when we're all done. Okay, so we got our width, no problem. Alright, next, height. We can use our standard 34 and a half inch uh, base cabinet height. That's our standard for base cabinets, and that's no problem. And then we go to depth, 24. You can do 24 or 26 inch depth. Now, a lot of people ask me to say, well, why, do you, why would you ever want to use a 26 inch depth sink cabinet when the rest of my base cabinets are at uh, 24 inches? Well, if you use a 26, you can step it out. And that's kind of a nice thing where if you want to, say, have a white sink cabinet, and then it's flanked by, say, walnut, like darker walnut cabinets, a very popular style right now is to basically have the sink kind of step out and then have some little corbels down by the toe kick. But that's a whole different tutorial, okay? That's why you use the 26. It just makes it kind of pop. Kind of nice. All right. Let's go back. And next one here, we have our opening width, which we've already determined from the width above, 33 inches. Opening width is going to be uh, 31.5. You guys all know that. Now, opening height. Now, this is where you can get into some trouble. All right, opening height is relatively easy to actually to do. It's not as complicated as you may think. Now, looking at the side view here, I'm gonna erase these and draw these back in for you here in a minute. All right, 
Notice that there's little legs right there. There's little legs in the front and the back. Now they're shown here on the front as well. And that's what's gonna rest on the top of our fixed shelf. Now fixed shelf, that's this guy right here. That's the top of this guy right there. That's what this piece is. Notice there's two three quarter inch thick plywood fixed shelves. It's a little overkill, but whatever. All right, so what we wanna do is figure out what the height is between the top of the sink and then the bottom of those little legs that stick down onto our fixed shelf. And that's gonna be nine and 13 sixteenths of an inch. You might be thinking, oh, okay, works out pretty well. Do we have nine and 13 sixteenths for the opening height of our farm sink? It's up by one eighth of an inch, inch one eighth inch increments, nine and 13 sixteenths. If we round up, we have to go to nine and seven eighths. So our opening height is gonna be nine and seven eighths, which is just one sixteenth inch taller than the nine and 13 sixteenths that we see right there on the sink, okay? And you might be saying, well, what about the 16th of an inch? What are we gonna do with that? Well, you can shim up the bottom of the cabinet. Nobody says you can't. And there's always things that are certain that, are, that could be slightly off. We've seen sinks come out and like not this one, there was a, uh, I believe it was a Shaw sink and they were plus or minus a half of an inch. They're built in England. Uh, they're basically hand built and they can be all over the place. Not saying this is gonna happen with this Kohler. These things are mass production sinks. So I'd imagine they're pretty dialed in, but uh, given another sixteenth of an inch, you can put some shims underneath there, and then the silicone around the rim of the sink is going to be uh, just a little bit of space there for um, for that. And that's your countertop uh, supplier. He's going to be uh, doing that that shim up to make sure it's nice and tight underneath there. Worst case scenario, if it was too big, uh, then you have a little extra room to work with. Okay, so nine and seven eighths is going to be our opening height. Now you must be looking at, well, is that going to work, and how does that really work with our sink here? Notice our opening height at nine and uh, seven eighths. Uh, then we have a two inch, we have a two inch gap between the top of that fixed shelf and then the top of the horizontal rail. Now let's just verify that that's going to work because some of these apron sinks they can have like a six inch gap between them and that's that's just that's weird. I don't know why they do that, but uh, in the past, in five years ago, they used to do it more. I don't see that many anymore. So essentially, what we have here is the deck that we just talked about, three quarters of an inch thick there we just talked about doing that and then we also have the the rail horizontal rail and there's gonna be two inches between there and there now notice that the front of this apron is 8 and 13 sixteenths and then the height of the overall sink is 9 and 13 sixteenths right that's one inch it means we have that our apron is going to have a one inch overlap on that horizontal rail which is perfect that's right where we want it the sink was actually kind of based around this I'm sorry, the sink cabinet was based around this sink, I believe, when we put this one together about four or five years ago. All right, opening depth. It's just the cabinet depth because there's no nailers back here. So you have this, this is the opening depth all the way. Now, if you look at this, you can, you can actually take a look at the depth of the sink. That's nine and five sixteenths. Um, so you have a couple of inches, or really you have, what, four and three quarters of an inch almost. Uh, to do plumbing and then faucets and stuff like that. So this will fit just fine into a 24 inch deep, deep sink cabinet. In fact, I'm gonna change that over because most of you guys are gonna be ordering this at 24 inches. Okay, and then you just fill in the rest of your stuff down here uh, with whatever else you're using in your uh, cabinets. You can do slide out, pull out shelves underneath and yada, 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 that's a different tutorial altogether. So that's essentially what we're gonna be doing. 33 inch wide sink cabinet, height 34 and a half, depth 24, Opening height, 9 and 7 eighths, which is 1 16th of an inch taller than 9 and 13 sixteenths. Shim it up just a little bit. Makes it perfect. We're going to have a nice little gap around the sink. Uh, you're going to have, what is that going to be here? Total width is 32 and 11 sixteenths. So what do you have? 5 30 seconds on each side of gap. Pretty nice and tight. Nice neck, and you're going to have doors next to it, obviously, or drawer fronts. And those will pull out just fine. They're not going to rub or anything like that. The hinges and drawer fronts are... Uh, drawer guides are meant to do that and then down below as we said before you're going to probably have about a one or two inch reveal which is common with an apron apron front sink cabinet okay so that's pretty much it that's our tutorial on this and uh kind of shows you guys how to get through the process of uh you know, determining sink cabinet size uh for the apron front sink hope you guys enjoyed it have a good day